say that I have a huge crush on Connor. Um, I'm, but that's a problem. I can't date him because he's too young. said Leslie said news to a minor and Leslie said you can't do anything about it since he is now 18. Like even the cops, even the cops said that there's nothing that they can do. Even the cops said that there's nothing they can do now. Nothing. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most weird and bizarre pedophiles I've ever heard of. Leslie Clark. Leslie Clark is a 26-year-old female that lives in the state of Louisiana. She started gaining a following on her TikTok page under the influencer name Queen Badass. By scrolling through her page, you can see that she posts normal TikTok content. Rather, she's lip-syncing the songs, or makes videos with TikTok filters, or does TikTok lives similar to Tophia's. Off TikTok, Leslie is a very bad person. In today's video, we are going to be talking about her past. So as I stated earlier, Leslie started gaining a following on TikTok, resulting to her having an audience. Since gaining an audience, she decided to use them. In what way? By scamming them. Before I show you any footage, let me give context first. So Leslie came up with a fake story. In this fake story, Leslie said that her cousin needed baby formula for her baby, basically saying that her cousin's struggling and she needs help. The person she told this story actually fell for it, resulting into them getting scammed. At the top of the message, you can see Leslie saying what she needs from this person. After she's done asking for the things she needs, the follower asks for her cousin's cash app. Lisa gives out her cousin's cash app, but in reality, that is Lisa's other cash app. That cash app was made on the same day she was scamming that person. Not only that, but the cash app username is the same as Lisa's Facebook username. After a lot of photos and videos of proof of her scamming, many people confronted her, and she made an apology video. Well, if you call it that about how these people that got scammed deserved it and she basically didn't care. She didn't show no empathy whatsoever. I just want to say thank you because you got a point. You really do got a point. Because it is their own fault. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you do got a point there, honey. And I really appreciate it. The fact that she posted this on her TikTok page where all her audience is at and never got canceled for it is crazy to me. Even after this quote unquote TikTok apology, she went back to straight scamming people. From being a pedophile and a scammer, she just had to make it worse on herself, becoming homophobic and transphobic. She claims that she's part of the LGBTQ, which in reality she isn't. The reason why she claims she's part of the LGBTQ so she can get away saying the slurs in that community. But here's proof that she's transphobic and homophobic. Bailey, for the last time, shut your ugly Oh, up. see, that's not what we're going to do, brother. That's not what we're going to do. I hope that's that not is. what we're going to do. I so the context of this clip is that Leslie got into an argument with these people on the Instagram live and they were all associated with the LGBTQ. So Leslie thought the best way to get back at them was to call them the F slur. It means when you call somebody a f I support. All right, since I'm a trans, let me go get my trans flag, man. Right? Hey, mom, I'm getting a trans flag. I'm a trans woman. Dad, I'm getting a freaking trans flag. Also, she's racist. Can we? Okay, can we talk about the Confederate no, flag now? Can we address that? I know the pe people in the comments are curious as to why we're hanging out with people who say the N-word and the F-slur and why we're saying the F-slur anyway. I, I went in there live just to watch it and they requested me to join, so I joined. But you were, you were sitting there saying, but you were sitting, sitting there saying the F-slur with them. And you said that you you call your friends the n-word girl do you want the screen recording that? i'll send it to you right now becca i'll explain everything i, I don't 
say with a hard I, I, I say like, what's up? Yup, there you have it. She's not only homophobic, not only transphobic, but also racist. Regardless, if you don't say it with a hard R, you should not be saying it in general. As I said earlier, she says she's a part of that community, but yet she still uses those slurs to offend people of that community. Leslie is a bad person than she already is, but instead she has to make it more worse on herself. For an example, laughing at somebody for having a miscarriage. So the TikToker had a miscarriage, and she wanted to post about it on her TikTok page. And what does Leslie decide to do? To spam laughing emojis on all the creator's miscarriage videos. Well basically this is pretty ironic because Leslie had her own miscarriage herself. So why is Leslie making fun of somebody for having a miscarriage when she had one herself? Don't know. So the creator that had the miscarriage took the screenshots that I previously showed you. She went to go on and DM Lisa's boyfriend that she had at the current time, showing him the photos and then left this DM. It's actually sad that Leslie will go this low to make fun of somebody. Clearly this person's going through tough times right now and you're just making it worse. So as you know by the intro, you can already tell that Leslie is a pedophile. But there's lore behind it, so let's get to it. So Leslie got caught talking to this 15 year old boy. And the sister of the 15 year old boy found out and decided to confront Leslie about this. And how old is my brother? Exactly. He is a child. You are a grown ass woman. So after a while when the video surfaced, people on Instagram Live decided to confront her about this. Even the 15 year old that Leslie was talking to. How are you related to Leslie? My name's Ethan. I was 15 and she sent the nudes to me and I'm 17 now. <laughs> you were the one? You were the one? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I was 15 when she sent the news to me that my sister has the account logged You are Courtney's brother. Yes, ma'am. My God. Yes, ma'am. My sister has all the login to that account, all the info. Her father even sent his dick to me. Like the whole family's messed up in the head. So, okay, I have a question, Ethan. And Leslie? Please, did you know he was 15 when you sent those photos? You know, I did. No, I didn't. Look, okay. how old did you think he was? Uh, somebody told me he was 18. Why didn't you ask him? Man, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I told her how old I was. I said, I'm not allowed to talk to anybody above the age of 17. And that's when she had sent the nudes. Did you and ask for those pictures? No, ma'am, I did not. After this video surfaced, it got hella attention. Many people started to realize that Leslie is a predator. She tried her best to defend herself, saying that the 15-year-old sent her a fake ID and saying that he was the legal age, when all of this is untrue. People that are coming in this live and this platform to call you out for the reason you have fans, which is literally being a child predator. Just to let you know, that, no, this shit happened like fucking true. years ago, and everybody fucking knows about this shit. And it I doesn't fucking matter. Change. So true. Shut the fuck up, you finish. still dated a child. I never dated a fucking Multiple child. Multiple children. You sent news to one. No, it's not. It was just one. It doesn't oh, matter. It was just one, Leslie. That and doesn't go away. At this point, everybody fucking knows There's about it. Proof. Everybody freaking knows I'm about it, and it's old fucking news. I fucking changed. I haven't done that shit in fucking years. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like, I've like, learned from my fucking mistakes. I'm 21. Sadly. Leslie, you don't learn from a mistake when it comes to dating a child. I did, though. I did. Because at, the end, cause at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, nobody knows that he fucking lied to me about his fucking age. No, nobody knows that he fucking showed me a fake ID. He showed you a fake ID? Yeah. You're saying somebody right. went out of their way to show you a fake ID. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the police got involved, but yet couldn't do anything because the minor got to the legal age of 18, basically letting her get away freely, sending nudes to a minor. He said Leslie sent nudes to a minor, and Leslie said he can't do anything about it since he is now 18. Like, even the cops, even the cops said that there's nothing that they can do. Even the cops said that there's nothing they can do now. Nothing. 
This actually has me mad that she got away sending news to a minor. Not only that, she got away being racist, homophobic, transphobic, making fun of somebody for having a miscarriage, scamming people and saying it's their fault. After all these corrupt, horrible things she has done, she still has a platform.